In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a subdivision on a parcel of land complete with a road, right-of-way, and cul-de-sac. The goal of this video is to give you an idea of how you might approach something like this with your own projects. Since the focus is on methodology, I'm not going to spend much time explaining the actual commands that I use as there are already many videos that explain these elsewhere. In this video, I'm using our subdivide software, but the same approach applies if you're using Procogo XL. So let's get started. Here I am in a new empty drawing, and the first thing I need to do is draw our parcel. Using the legal description, I could start the tract command and manually enter the bearings and distances, but I can also use the automatic deed reader. So here is the legal description, and I'm just going to select it and then copy it. And now click the Tools menu and then select the Deed Reader option. Next, I'll click the Paste option, and the deed is parsed into its individual legs. If any issues were found, they'd be marked with a red question mark here. And by the way, if you've never used our Deed Reader before, be sure to click this link here and watch a short video on it. Everything looks great, so now I'll click OK. And there's our parcel. And if you can't see it, do a zoom all. Next, I'm going to change over to my roads layer. And now I'm going to draw the road right away with a cul-de-sac. Now, if all you need is a basic sketch, you could just go ahead and draw the road in freehand. But in this video, I'm going to take some extra time and create this subdivision so that all of the lots are exactly the same size and lot lines will be perpendicular to the road right away and radial to the curves in the cul-de-sac. So instead of just drawing in the center line for the road, I'm going to be more precise and construct it using some of the tools that I have available to me in the software. First, I'm going to draw a line right down the center of the parcel. I'll do this with the line command, and I'll use the midpoint snap to snap my start of the line in the midpoint of this side and end it on that side. Now, looking at our sketch, I want the edge of the cul-de-sac right-of-way to be about 80 feet from the edge of the parcel. The cul-de-sac right-of-way will have a radius of 73 feet, so that means the center of the cul-de-sac needs to be 153 feet from the east boundary line. This will also be the end of our center line. I can precisely set that by creating what I will call a temporary construction line and then trimming our center line back to it. So I'll start the offset command, then select the line that I want to offset from. Then I need to click on the side that I want to offset to, and then the offset distance down here will be 153. Next, I'll use the trim command and trim our center line back to that line. We no longer need the construction line anymore, so I can just delete it. Next, we're going to create the right of way for our road. We'll again use the offset command and create 25 foot offsets on each side of the center line. And now we will create the cul de sac. I'll start the command, click the end of my center line, and then enter my parameters. And this is going to be 73 feet. Entry and exit radius right there is going to be 12 feet. And our road right away is 50 feet wide. And there's our cul-de-sac. Now we still have a little cleanup here, and we'll do that with the trim command. So I'll start the command, and what I want to do is trim this line back to this arc. So I select the arc as my cutting edge, click on the line and do the same thing for the other side. And there we are. In the next video, we're going to use the site calculator and see just how many lots we can fit on this project.